got ourselves Nas Dami over for the team one. First one and ready. But versus Allure, a bit of a rematch. Frazike versus a monk. At least you don't have the high amount of dampening. Absolutely obliterating your potential to heal. Nas immediately charging in. Got him so the Jade Fire blind that Allure. As he's just backing up out of there. I think he's trying to see if he can test the waters. Whether he can get a trinket out of Nas a little bit early. He's definitely going to have to get himself some kind of a setup. Got himself the roots. Walking away from the guy. Nas Diamond trying to get himself some kind of a setup. Fist of Fury as he gets rooted on it. Got him some Tiger Sphere. It's going to be a trinket out lore. Do you get hit with like a paralysis or something? What happened there? Or did you get rooted? I'm not even sure what the trinket was for. Nas still holding on to a trinket of his own. Got himself potentially more defenses coming up. Lexiup on that IBF. Laura's actually going to get a second stone onto Nas. Got himself plenty of damage. He can grip him out in the open. Trying to go for a kick. Nas trying to see if he can get out of there. Big rip. Karma to follow. Lore may need to just rotate defenses just to survive. Got himself a mess for the Karma, but it's physical damage. Oh! And the jab just goes to break that undead man right in the spine. That is unfortunate with Baron going to be up next. I love that mog that is so good literally one of the best looking mogs they've ever created and i'm pretty wait hold on i'm pretty sure this is the lfr version of this is the elite version of the dk set but i think the lfr version also looks the same oh my god nas absolutely getting massacred and baron just gripping next guy he doesn't even know who's going to be next it looks like he's going to be albeda albeda just immediately goes in for a crusade and albeda's running with a crusade hold on a second is he just waiting for baron's ibf he might be just waiting for Baron's IBF. Oh, Lichborn! But he gets stunned with a wake of ashes! The wake Lichborn stunned! You almost never see it, but what a timer! As Baron does go for the silence, trying to see if he can recover a little bit of health. Only 10% of dampener should help him catch up a little bit of health. Not like you have a lot of healing tools available. Got him some death back with a quick stun onto Albedo. Trying to see if he can get a couple more death strikes. Still trying to get aggressive. Stunned, but mostly defensive. Got him some the AMS ahead of time. Albedo, most of his damage is magical. Some of it is physical. So for Baron to go for AMS is actually the play, but he doesn't have a lot of health to work with the Wake of Ashes. Oh, hold on, blind. You have a heal. One death strike, two death strikes. Blind didn't break. Baron, hold on, maybe has a chance here. Albedo has immunity, so I don't I highly doubt he's going to be able to kill him right here. But Baron's sitting down for food. Albedo tried to see if he can charge at him. I don't know if Baron can maybe make his way out of this one. Technically, Frosty Case can do kind of, sort of, okay in terms of recovery. But definitely not great. Yeah, there's just not much you can do. You have to play in a very, very specific way. Maybe if you got himself a little bit more uptime on that eat, on the food, <laughs> on the door dash above. Albedo immediately walling us all bubble as somebody sees these lemon haze going in for the secret technique. Is he just trying to use bubble early just to get it back a little quicker as the magic goes on? It might be actually. That might be what's his move here right now. I'm not even sure. That's crazy. Lemon Haze does back up out of the. He got a fantastically massive cooldown out of Albedo. All he has to worry about is a blessing of protection. But honestly, if he just charges at him immediately, is he just staring at Kragar? <laughs> what is that? He's just looking at Kragar? I like him, Kragar. I like that set. It's Fury. Oh, Kragar on that Fury. Loving it. I picked up. Albedo should be able to see Lemon. But I guess he's looking lovingly at Kragar over there. He just enamored by his mog. Didn't he see the rogue? What is that wreck? The wreck was right next to the rogue. Trinket cloak. He made a lemon. Back it up out of there. He doesn't want to do nothing. He got a trinket out of Albedo. He's got a bubble. He's got bop. He doesn't need to touch him at all. But Frost there for everything else. Yeah, chill pills. I'm hoping I'll see a... We got a Death Knight changes arriving in war with an alpha. I, I They need to. They need to. They need to. Mages are getting stuff. Warlocks are getting stuff. Monks and Druids and Warriors got stuff. Paladins and Vokers got stuff. Like, holy. The only class I think that doesn't really need stuff is maybe like Demon Hunter, maybe Rogue, because we recently just got a massive rework. How is that blind not connect? How is Lemon Haze avoiding all of these attacks from Albedo? He avoided the wreck, which is right there, pixel away from his little tippy toe. And then Lemon Haze dodged a blind completely and an AoE. This guy's the most elusive Rogue I've ever seen. Albedo pick it up the second eye. Lemon, I'm surprised he hasn't gone in all in so far. He has a, no trinket, so I guess maybe that's why he's like super unfor uh, super unsure about it. But he has only one vanish. If Albedo can get a dot on the guy. If he can get a slow on the guy and a dot on the guy. Yeah, if he even was slow. Does Wake of Ashes no longer hit through walls? I don't think it does. I think they changed it. Do rogues can still auto-attack through the walls? Is that a thing? Can we still stab through a pillar? Because <laughs> if they fix the uh, Wake of Ashes... 
towards the end of the season of season three out of all the attempts to fix it I wonder if they fix the rogues are attacking through a wall, stun onto Lemon as Albedo trying to see if he can go in for a full crusade searing glare, kidney shot. Lemon Haze actually, I guess I was gonna say could have interrupted him. Did you just vanish off the kidney? Okay, Lemon, you just avoided a bunch of abilities from Albedo. I thought like, man, that was gonna be the play. I think it was maybe accidental because i feel like that's so too much of a commitment with the kidney and the vanish all together i feel like you're gonna just land in a kidney quick shiv or run behind the pillar catch a reset and you're chilling eyes are available but albeda does not have his crusade anymore he does need to find the rook he got about 20 seconds until vanish is back up cloak is gonna be up blind is gonna be up evasion is gonna be up but albeda 30 seconds until a bubble is available Lemon, was he DC'ing? Is that what's happening? Is that what he's chilling behind the pillar? Is he having DC problems? Because I was thinking for a second, like, he is chilling behind the pillar. I was thinking, like, he was going to go in. But I think that's why he was just chilling behind the pillar. It wasn't him, like, trying to wait for cooldowns. I think he was straight up DC'ing. And you hit him with a flag of ownership? Okay. Okay. Katarina going to be up next. I'm not sure what happened to Lemon. I'm actually not sure what happened to Lemon there. At all. Also, I just noticed there's a chat in the bottom left of me. With a cool cheer on a Daniel Paul. <laughs> Yelling, you die, but that is a true cool cheer on. Holy, what is this RP? As it's going to be Albedo trying to go for a bit of a reset versus Katarina. Trick can used by the mage really, really early on. As Albedo trying to see if he can ramp up the damage. Got him so a bit of hits onto Katarina. Can't cut a low. Do you have an altar? I don't think it's an altar. Hold on a second. You got yourself a reversal. You can go back to where you were. Not purple? No. You got to go for a full ice block as it's a bubble out of Albedo. This could be a massive go for Albedo right now. This could be massive, massive for him right here. As Katarina goes full, full reset with shifting power behind the pillar. Albeda mounting up. Yeah, mounting up, ready to go. Katarina looking to catch up as much as possible. Knock up by the mage to stop Albedo halfway across. Katarina stealing the hand of freedom. Should be able to cut him out. Stun to follow. You already used the blink though. Actually able to lock it down quite well. Blind right after steering glare. You can't even respond. Katarina needs to play defensively. Try to go for as much healing as he can. But 37% dampening is definitely not helping the situation. Mad hits out of Albedo. Timing it as you board back to your last location. That abyss does let you escape though. This is where Albedo needs to make sure. Blades of Justice is getting some value. Make sure you put a dot into Katarina. Make sure it's difficult for him to get a proper reset. No, but no! Albedo just goes in and slams it. What is going on, man? Oh my god, the Spally is more... A bit of a rematch between Albedo. Last time Albedo walked in, he had no cooldowns. This time also has no cooldowns. Full dots are up by Mork. Soul Rod, Shadow Fury. I think it's all for a bit. Yeah, it's a it's a, a dark glare. He got Shield of Vengeance. 41% day opening. Maybe you can somehow live it. Just gotta heal yourself as much as possible. You have the judgment that this removes your debuffs? Do you? Or if you do, you better start spamming it. Haunt around the corner. Looks like I better lift it though. Hold on, that's most of the Dark Glare is gone. He lived a lot of those dots. I think he might have the judgment that there's a spell on them. So maybe that's how he was able to remove. Not your way, but I guess haunt, corruption, whatever other dots he had on you. Everything but agony. There's more trying to get himself a better angle versus Albedo. Trying to keep the raw pressure rolling. Does Albedo have the immunity to manage damage them? Because if he has himself spell ward him. He could make a play. Trying to, he doesn't dispel. He doesn't judgment dispel. I'm surprised you didn't dispel a random uh, UA on yourself. Haunt is up right now for Mork. Needs to get a UA going. Rapture, there goes the spell ward, and he is immune to all magic damage. Gotta be Mork trying to go for a port as Albedo punishing the warlock. The guy is trying to stay obey. Got him some wall. Dark pack coming up very, very soon. Way to rotate defensives as early as possible. Dark pack just in case Albedo gets on him. And Albedo trying to go for as much CC onto the main pet. Blind on the pet as well as Mork. He's still not out of the woods just yet. Shield of Minutes is available. May need to use it as soon as possible. Avoiding the Succubus while going behind the pillar. He is going behind the pillar just to dodge the Succubus when he can. Blind on the Succubus. I think that should have connected. I think that should have connected. Haunted Albedo with a fewer to follow right after. Ripping his soul out of his body. Does not have Shield of Minutes anymore. Wings are available though. He got himself a lay on hands. Last bash of the defense. Border call by Mork. He's just trying to keep the CC rolling in. That's going to be a, a Malefic Raptors from a distance. He might get himself damage. Bonds of is going to break. More. Oh, Albedo does take it at the end. Are you kidding me? Albedo does take it. Oh my goodness. Honestly. I feel like that should count as a three kills instead of four. I guess he did find a rogue for a good bit. But like the rogue DC, I don't know. Should I count? Should I not count? Let's get us another one going, boys. Yeah. Uno mas, uno mas.